Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Revelation deck. Now the Revelation deck, this was a deck starter project. Of course, if you know deck starter, deck starter is slash art of play, which is slash Dan and Dave. And so this deck was designed by a gentleman named Blake Brenneman. These cards were inspired by a medieval cathedral. It's in Norway and it's called Nidaros. And uh, Blake was inspired by this cathedral. Uh, he really likes the architecture, its history. And so he wanted to capture that, he wanted to encapsulate all of that into this uh, really beautiful deck of cards. All right, so the tuck case says Revelation across the top. It's done in black. Uh, the tuck case is very smooth. Uh, black and red and white are the colors that are used there. Uh, there's a circle there with a skull in the center wearing a crown. It says playing cards across the bottom. This side says illustrated by Michael Messer. And then the other side says produced by Blake Brenneman. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about deck starter, and the top says Revelation, and there's a custom tuck seal. Uh, the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said earlier, these cards are printed by the Expert Playing Cards Company, so they do have a really smooth edge, really nice corners. Uh, they glide really easily across hand to hand, and they're not their thicker stock. This is more of a thin stock, more of a retail stock, uh, and it's really great. It handles really wonderfully. Um, the cards themselves, these are all hand illustrated. They're hand illustrated deck of cards done all in pen and ink, and they contain illustrations and artwork and inspiration that's all inspired from this cathedral in Norway. We've got uh, inspiration from the catacombs, the beautiful stained glass, and all of the different ornamentation. The back design is a beautiful, ornate cross. It's all done in reds, whites, and blacks. And as you can see, it's very gothic looking, but at the same time, keeping the cross shape so that it is a two-way back design. Your twin jokers are gargoyles perched on top of a stone. Your ace of spades is a beautiful exploded pip right there in the center. Your court cards, again, are all hand-drawn ink. And notice that they are all one-way picture court cards. Uh, they're all an homage to the silent skeletons that live in the catacombs below. Uh, they're all Norwegian royalty, and uh, many of these people are still resting at Nadaro's catacombs. Your two extra cards are a deck starter ad card and an art of play ad card. All right, so that is it for this deck review of Revelation. As always, we would ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. You can also subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Hey, and the shirt today I'm wearing is from Jax and Jokers. Uh, head on down to their website and be sure to browse uh, through their pages. They've got a lot of great custom apparel for anyone that appreciates the artistry in cards. Thanks. Bye.